Firstly, we're releasing five things this evening. So the second part of the reading, we'll be releasing a book called Arta Abraham. It's a cycle of ten poems based around the life of a boxer. Uh, essentially, it was published by Nice Forks and Spoons Press. And I'm going to read a selection of the poems. Horde. At the front of the vandal train was the mould of an animal. It wore the jaw of something animal. Eating something animal. Playground. Arta Abraham still be Edison Miranda with a broken jaw. Clearly it could be seen from the video footage. A looseness, a freedom the jaw shouldn't have. The dentismal argument one lip has with another, the teeth refusing to align the loss in his expression, for his mouth was permanently open, caught light by a slash of coloured gum shield. The jaw is the jaw of David. It is an emissary of an exultant young woman, a mother, to be wrapped in red leather on the crib of a mountain, amongst the sons who knew death as a coil, as marker, who bore this jaw as a testament to the extant that cannot be shattered beyond a shrift he will box on the bust the form of sculpture the jaw is an unreliable tool of expression its appearance cannot be trusted his eyes spoke otherwise his insistence is the color of cherrystone marble his stubborn fix abated bare the decision was open to contention but abraham still won and crushed miranda in the rematch Proud stands the son of Arta Abraham in the German playground. Live. The puncture, when she slips off her hairnet and lips tightly closed, begins to lisp. Born to earth covering womb skin, Abraham so nervous, the hands shake as she signs the permission slip. Apparent the murder, it is in his footwork, grateful for the pain this boy, this small child, we are not willing to endure boiled fists. It wasn't because I liked fighting, no, people just said things to me which I felt like the only reply was to hit them in the face. Pride of Armenia, salvaging other people's poetry, one bark, a baby in Yerevan, to this child I am insisting, the seal of attention, Avethik Abrahamyan, he was not born Arta Abraham, unafraid of oceans. They say Hippanax, mug of a pugilist, Abraham is Hippanax, a reborn. He turns Germany. It and I and Ia, when decades fault were faulted, when they went to America, Thanatos hunger humble in his stilted English. The Americas like him, but he speaks three languages more than they do. With lips and fist, he says, my mother cannot watch me fight, it hurts her too much. Torn, the turn to hit, turn the term is lit, knocked out. You can hear Jermaine Taylor's wife screaming, is he okay, is my husband okay, I mean he looks dead. Hit so hard by Abraham he looks dead, the gum shield winched by inch from his clenched teeth. He's not moving though in time he does not die. They won't let him fly out of Germany yet. The lightning clears, as what it clears, the numb tongue punching the waist he strikes the Christian wound. I've got no children so I could fight Abraham, but I won't because we're different weights. He has no children, looks like a fighter, punch drunk, this a one-sided fist fight. Yet they deface the tomb of Arta Abraham in good time. Avetic has taken steps. Royal is the fall of Abrahamian. Bet. Tillman Rubersnyder bets 5 euros. Bastian Schweinsteiger bets 50 euros. Monica Rink bets 500 euros. Kevlin Attil bets 5,000 euros. Georg Sponholz bets 50,000 euros. Jan Wagner bets 500,000 euros. Beatrice Hausleit bets 5 million euros. Angela Merkel bets 50 million euros on Abraham. They are smart bets. Vernacular. Beard, chin is described as Dante's protozoic punch resistance. The bestowing of a gift from the boxing gods, a rattle bag, a square head, ability in purist. Journeyman is defined as the the in records. Active hopelessness, dips the shoulder well enough, muttony stomach, up close the eyes are detaching, slurred speech, knotted brow, solid jab, see the love. 
Sunday punch is defined as relief from the brain bleed. Sleepness is a cause of action, a passage of flight, massive intent. Crowd hushes at this mist, frightens women. Southport is described as backwards, suspicious to Catholics. Glass jaw is described as poor soul, blacklisted. Swelling. Mourning, the after sight of wars. He needs help dressing, for he's so bruised, appallingly in debt. There were tears in his eyes, she tells her friends around the Turk fire, her father, just a grocer. When she's gone, his butler eases him into the bed mat of cold packs and the swelling subsides. In his bed, fortunate, he tires of the purple lesions on his ribs, the unbearable ache through his spine. When she returns to visit, he will not open the door, pretending to be asleep.